very much with the protesters. These young men are incredibly angry. emotion running through the streets here. Uh, we are now moving on to uh, North Street, which is a very big avenue here in Baltimore. Uh, thousands, perhaps 2,000 people, they marched first to the Western District Police Station, and then they marched over to the area where uh, Mr. Gray was taken into custody the last time he was seen standing, basically. He went and fell into a coma shortly after and died seven days later. Uh, there is one small group group of protesters here. There are several hundred more co coming up behind us uh, on other streets. And as you can see, they have shut down traffic in this area of uh, Baltimore. So far, police showing great restraint. But what they are asking for is for all six of those all six of those police officers who were uh, named today to be uh, charged with first degree murder. They say that they are going to march on the city hall on Thursday. And that at that point, a little impossible here, but at that point, they will take over City Hall until they get those individuals arrested. We will kill straight up. Now, Miguel, uh, I don't know how well you can hear me. Extraordinarily unhappy. Extraordinarily. I mean, and, and you have them talking about him being murdered. They're walking by you. They're, they're Look, they're yelling the F-bomb left, right, and center here to your cameras. I mean, what's the, the tone? And the, 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 the anger is very palpable, I will say, right? This is not... As calm as people might have expected. This is this is Gilmore Homes uh, Homes section of uh, West Baltimore. It is a very tough neighborhood. Uh, you you see burned out houses everywhere. You saw see a lot of poverty everywhere. You see uh, uh, food security. People can't afford to eat in this neighborhood. There is great great anger and frustration, and they feel that the police force in this neighborhood doesn't stand up for their rights. Only knows how to arrest them. Uh, in the case of Freddie Gray, for instance, uh, the police. Police say that he made eye contact with police and then fled, and that's what caused them to go after him. In any other city, in any other town, not probable cause, but in this neighborhood of Baltimore, it is. And the people in this neighborhood, hello, I met you last night, uh, the people in this neighborhood are sick and tired of it, and they want it to stop. This Freddie Gray episode, for all the terrible, awful things that have happened in this area, Freddie Gray has has, has lit a fuse, has, has, has been a lightning rod for this neighborhood.